All right, that worked. I don't even know how. I was thinking that beforehand the last time I did it, but I was like, how's it gonna work? It worked for some fucking reason. It was like the next time I have to say I was gonna cut it. So that works for me. It is, you can see this shelves on the medicine room, as well as the names written for each spot. Miss Kumpak who saw the name set of shelves and thought that the medicine was placed in Miss Fujiwara's spot. Indeed, I don't see how it would be possible to mistake it for otherwise. I beg to differ, Your Honor. I claim that it is possible for someone unfamiliar to this system to be mistaken. Miss Kumpaku, can you tell us which cell from the top you saw Miss Yagakura place the medicine? It was the third from the top. I am absolutely positive. And there you have it. The third shelf from the top is not Miss Fujiwara's shelf. Papastra, isn't that her name written just above it? Please, yes, but please take a closer look. The shelf up above does not have name written above it, but below it. The reason... The third space from the top is not Miss Fujiwara's, but Miss Kawashiro's. Ah, so is that it? Hmm, per prescribing yokai medicine for yokai is perfectly reasonable. It seems our witness was mistaken after all. Any objections, Miss Scarlet? None, Your Honor. Due to the number of inconsistencies in the witness's testimony, I am afraid she is lacking in credibility. Therefore, I cannot give a verdict today. Holy shit. Do we live? The prosecution must find new witnesses for tomorrow's trial. I understood, Your Honor. That would be all for today. Court adjourned. Wow! We got through that shit. That was pure luck at that point. That was just basically, what the fuck do I do at this point? I'm fucked. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate the extra stage, man. I'm really gonna hate the extra stage. So, pretty much... Yeah, that's gonna suck a lot. Phew! Once again, we came a little too close for comfort. If you had a sneeze, Momoji, we probably wouldn't be standing here right now. I think that was just a fluke. But you can't argue with the results. You brought, you bought me just enough time. It's Denley, who might be the true criminal. Huh? I thought you were going to reveal the guilty party today, but you did not say a word on the matter. Perhaps it merely escaped my hearing? Didn't you, did you, didn't you fall asleep during the trial? I did not. I had sufficient rest in the detention cell. That's not the answer I was looking for. Sad to say, but I still don't know who did it. However, I'm most certain it wasn't Miss Kumpaku. I assume you had already deduced it. Well, you know what happens when you assume. There's so much we're in the dark about. It seems that way. And it certainly holds countless secrets. Is that true? Oh, now that I think about it, there are quite a few basic rumors about you being connected to the Endless Night incident. Are any of them true? That night must end sometimes. A moon does not fall is unheard of. So what is that supposed to mean? The more you pursue the truth, the further away it will become. But all I want to know is the sound, unvarnished truth. Then yours is an impossible request. Oh, my escort is here. I shall be depending on you tomorrow. And there she goes. But I'm a reporter. If I let the truth pass by, pass me by. Well, holy shit. Well, ain't that a coincidence? August 29th it is the exact same day when I'm recording. So yes, you guys know when I am recording this the first time. Damn, psychic. They know when I'm recording now. Good morning, Aya. Um, mm, morning. You don't seem well today. That's because even though we managed to extend the trial for another day, I have no idea who the culprit could be. Just who did it? But there aren't that many connected to the case. Can we narrow down the list of suspects? I guess, but no one has any clear motive. I suppose you're right. It's hard to see Miss Yeraisen doing it as she is Miss Yagakoro's helper, and I don't know the relationship between them and Miss Kumpako or Miss Sagioji. It's rumored that the latter two were involved in the Eternal Night incident. But that's all it is, a rumor. It would be best to question its accuracy. But why not try relaxing for a bit with some tea, like usual? We don't have much time for that. The trial's starting much earlier today. Oh, I see. In that case, let's head out at once. The only problem is I don't know where we should head out to. I don't know. I said there aren't many related to this case either earlier, but I could be mistaken. Really? Why? There are only four people who were ante on the day of the incident, correct? However, if the actual switch had, however, if the actual switch happened at, for example, Miss Fujiwara's hut, wouldn't that add to the list of suspects? It doesn't look like a terribly secure place, huh? That could be a possibility. First, we should talk with Miss Yagakoro and then Miss Raisin later. Sounds like a plan. That's my Momiji. She's always there to find a path when I'm in trouble. You couldn't ask for a more loyal guide dog, er, wolf. Nope, let's save, cause that was a bitch and I have to deal with. Alright, back at it again, let's do it. 
Miss Yago Coral, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh my, you are here early today. That's because the trial is starting earlier today. But she still looks as cool as ever. Most people will start to show signs of fatigue by now. Miss Yago Coral, may I ask what you are doing? This I am merely keeping a diary of my time here. It says not every day that one is held on trial and made to stay in a cell. Well, I suppose you're right. If I am found innocent, I shall grant this to you. Yes, please, an exclusive story would do wonders for... I have, have you forgotten why you're doing this? Right, to sell more newspaper. Have you forgotten? I guess that was your motive for bringing this whole trial system in the first place. About the medicine that was placed at Miss Fujiwara's hut. Is it possible that it was switched somewhere other than Aente? No, in fact, it is rather impossible. Really? Why do you say so? Where else would you obtain the medicine to replace it? And there's the matter of the bags. They're, those bags are found only at Aente. How would they acquire them? We'll maybe snuck in and pilfered some. Unfortunately, that's out of the question. Udon keeps track of the inventory and checks it often. If anything had went missing, we would soon know. Hmm. What if they make counterfeit bags? That still leaves the medicine itself. If I'm the only one in Kisoki who makes it, how are they going to make, procure any? Miss Yoko would have made a great detective. If she were on the case, I'd have no hope of winning. Come to think of it, while examining Miss Kumpaku, I remember hearing a sound. You heard something? I could not say from where it originated, but it was considerably loud. What kind of sound was it? I am certain it was dull, akin to a heavy object landing on the floor. During the examination, the only ones in the clinic were you, Miss Kumpaku, and Miss Sayoji, and Miss Raisin was out making deliveries, which means it could have only been one person, as, it, as hard as it is to believe for doing it. It looks like we need to pay Hakugoro a little visit. Alright, let's fucking go to Hakugoro. I think this might be my first time visiting this place, to be honest. I can't recall a time doing so, because... Yeah, the one time uh, Hakugoro was really involved was, I think, Yomu. And then even then, she was testifying against Tenshi. So we didn't exactly go there, if I recall correctly. It's been some time, though. It's been some time. All right. So we ended up so we ended up coming to the netherworld, after all. But we need to talk to Miss Saigyoji. Uh, she rarely leaves her estate, so we, have no, so we had no other choice. I don't want to believe it myself, but going by process of elimination... The true culprit is the mistress of Hakugoro. You mean Miss Saigoji? You said it, not me. She's obviously going to deny, and it doesn't help that we couldn't we have the slightest idea of what her motive could be. Speaking of not having the slightest idea, where would she be? No matter how many times I come here, I can never get how big get over how big it is. We might run into trouble if we go into the garden, although said trouble could possibly lead us to her. Halt! Intruders! Ah, you missed. Aya, are you okay? Of course, just who do you think I am? But who would just swing the sword at someone without... Oh. Was that you, Miss Kumpaku? Oh, so it was merely you two. Forgive me. I believe you two... I believe you to be trespassed and attacked on impulse. Um, could you look before you slash next time? I heard rumors, but I didn't believe she actually did that. Ever since the netherworld became connected with the world of the living, there have been many humans and yokai passing through. I have not the time to look. I don't think that's the problem. And attacking while my other hand is occupied, unthinkable. I'm still lacking in experience. I don't think that's the problem. This may be a silly question, but what are you holding? It appears to be a kimono. Do you mean this? It is Lady Yukari's kimono. To be specific, her soiled laundry. I was preparing to wash it when I detected intruders and brought it along when I investigated. What was that about lacking in experience then? Miss Saga Yoji's kimono, you say? Yeah, she removed it some time ago, yet it did not come to my attention until just now. I must attend to it immediately. As for as for as you can see, there is dirt along the bottom and it smells of garlic. Please wait a moment. Did you know when Miss Sayoji wore that? It was two days ago when we traveled to Aente. As I was I was As I have only just recovered from my cold and had to testify in court, I was unable to see any sort of housework. Hmm, garlic, that could mean. Excuse me, Miss Kumpaku, but may we borrow that for a little while? I beg your pardon? We need it in our investigation. But I cannot allow, allow others to borrow Miss Yuiko's properties. A property, as it is not mine. That would create all manners of problems if I were to do so. But we need it by any means. How can we? Aya, don't you take... Why don't you take a picture of it? The most important part is where the kimono is dirty. That might work. Excellent idea, Momiji. 
Would that be a problem? Not at all. That is an acceptable request. Be mindful of the scent, though. No doubt about it. That's garlic, all right. Mom, would you hold this? All right, like this? That's it. Now I take a shot. Photo of Yuriko's kimono at it placed in the court record. A photo of the kimono worn by Yuko on the day. The stains from the knees down makes it seem as if she tripped and fell towards, fell forward. It smells of garlic. Eh, does it? I don't see shit. It looks like, okay, from my point of view, it looks like the kimono is uh, from the torso up. So, I mean, with the way the sleeves are, it does look like it's, I would call it again, again, torso up. So, I mean, it doesn't really help us in terms of visualization, but sure, I guess. Two days ago at Ante, do you remember hearing some kind of noise during your examination? Now that you mention it, I did. It was rather loud. Do you know where it came from? I am terribly sorry, but I do not recall. My memory is clouded because of my cold. If it had been any other time, I likely would have been able to identify the direction of the source. Well, if your memory was cloudy, then that's that. I was hoping you would know, though. Oh my, what brings you here? Oh, so our top suspect finally shows herself. I can't let her give up. Can't let her give us a slip. We are Miss Yago Koro's defense attorney. We are con conducting an investigation to prove her innocence during the upcoming trial. So I gathered you are rather de de dedicated to your cause. I see. It's only natural, for we are working for the good of the residents of Ginsokyo. Then perhaps I will request your service if the need arises. I humbly beg Miss Milady to request for my assistance first, if at all possible. Oh, but would you be able to act as a defense attorney? You would need to raise objections with conviction, even as a bluff, yet you cannot lie very well. I shall not deny it. But it's not like I want to bluff or anything. Alright, let's go talk to her. Noise at Aente. Two days ago, during Miss Kumpaku's examination, do you remember hearing any odd noises? Hmm, I was in the waiting room, but I did not hear a thing. She did it. The waiting room isn't that far away from the examination room. Actually, I doze off then. You don't say. It's, it's not every day I have to walk as much as I did. Once we arrived, I was overcome by drowsiness and went to frog in dreamland for a spell. What kind of dreams do ghosts have? This probably isn't the best time to ponder that though. So that's why you didn't hear any noise. Yet it was a rather loud noise, supposedly. I still, I still did not hear it. Hmm. Concerning the case. I'm unrelated to the incident, so I do not know most of the details, but I believe that the authorities were correct in arresting Aaron. Miss Yonkor is not the criminal. Someone framed her. And who would that be? That's still under investigation. It must be difficult being a defense attorney. I doubt you would be suited for the task, Yom. You speak the truth. By the way, when did you come here today? We felt it necessary to speak with everyone who visited Aante two days ago. We had nothing to do with the incident, merely a patient and her escort. I doubt that's entirely accurate. It seems that way. I'm sure that the truth will be revealed in court. That would be wonderful. All right, that's nothing about that. Hmm, I wonder. Strange, a staggeringly huge mansion. Kind of a waste of space for just the two of them. Still connected. An expansive and lovely garden. It's incredible Miss uh, Kumpaku takes care of this all by herself. And Pekaba as it looks. Hmm. A beautiful stone path laid out here. You don't have to see one of such elegance in Kinsokyo. A clear blue sky. A fully phantom gave it a bit of a surreal feeling though. Hmm. I might as well save. Now I want to present. Maybe that'll help out. Oh, you took a picture of Makimono. I see you captured its beauty side. Its best side. Do you know where and when this dirty spot appeared? Oh, this must be the one I wore two days ago. How did it become so filthy? You cannot remember? It does seem like an important matter. Is that so? You honestly can't remember. Yoma, what did we have for breakfast this morning? You forgot again, my lady? You requested Japanese cuisine, so I served vegetables, boil, and soy sauce on rice. Oh, there we are. I heard her memory was sketchy, but I didn't realize it was that terrible. I think that's, that's all I can get right now. Wait, maybe the symptoms. Huh? Oh, not as much as I can tell right now. Hmm. Nope, that's about it. Let's go to the... Fuck it, Ante. Let's do it. 